yes sachin so uh, after reading 5.2 background to deconstruction and specifically derrida and heidegger uh, it seems to me that the seeds of uh, deconstruction sprouted from heidegger right uh, would you please elaborate on this point yeah yeah so uh, heidegger along with freud and nietzsche mm-hmm. are three important thinkers which derrida acknowledges in his very famous essay structure sign and play as uh, the ideas in these philosophers are in many way continued by derrida heidegger uh, and his philosophy deals with some very important themes which uh, derrida continues in his own philosophy one of the theme is question of deconstruction right uh, the term destruction in german is translated as deconstruction into french so that is a direct connection between heidegger and derrida yeah so we will have to look at heidegger's philosophy a bit mm-hmm. heidegger pointed out that the western tradition of philosophy uh, avoided or repressed or neglected the question of being of beings okay. now this is again very abstract by beings he implies entities like this uh, this mic or table or person mm-hmm. but uh, western philosophy refused to look at the mode of their existence mode of their being the way these things are so it avoids question of being of beings okay. and so heidegger wants to destroy or dismantle entire tradition of western philosophy by pursuing the question of being of beings okay. and so in his very famous book called being and time he says that he has taken up a project of transforming mm-hmm. the way westerners think right so it's not just philosophy that he is trying to transform but he is trying to transform the way western people think right so that's a very ambitious project which heidegger has taken up and derrida in many way continues this pro- project of deconstruction or dismantling and transforming of uh, western philosophy so that's one direct connection okay so other very important question is the theme of language and heidegger points out in his later works that it is language which speaks not man mm-hmm. so meaning is a product of language and so what happens is man is decentered from language and this is the post modern post structuralist thematic which we find in heidegger as well as in nietzsche that language displaces man displaces. from the center of philosophy so that again had uh, derrida is continuing as the project of de- displacing man from the center of philosophizing mm-hmm. uh, like heidegger derrida wants to rethink the very foundation of western philosophy and he also wants to reinvent the language in which philosophy is done so the whole very ambitious project of reinventing language of philosophy is another theme which connects heidegger and derrida uh if you want to draw one more parallel you can say that just like heidegger w- said that the whole question of being of beings is repressed and neglected and so it is necessary to dismantle western philosophy derrida argues that the whole question of writing okay is neglected mm-hmm. and repressed in the entire tradition of western thought so it's very important to displace western philosophy by focusing on language as writing rather than language as speaking so uh, what happens here is derrida is also critiquing heidegger mm-hmm. by saying that you are also looking at language as speech rather than as writing mm-hmm. so uh, the whole tendency to emphasize language as speech rather than writing is what derrida calls phonocentrism yes uh, and it is a manifestation in his own word of what is called metaphysics of presence mm-hmm. and what he calls logocentrism so these are uh, several threads which connect heidegger and heidegger, heidegger. heidegger. yeah thank you thank you, thank you.